we have so many friends across the United States who have uh, supplied us with incredible ingredients, and they want to give our audience a taste of both the Southwest and the West. We have uh, this amazing chili powder from Bueno. This is really delicious. We have uh, Freddy's, uh, Freddy Guy's hazelnuts from Farm District in Oregon. Oh, the best. Oh, I love this. This is red uh, mill cornmeal that you are going to love and everything, Bob's Red Mill. And we have um, Milligan Pecan Company. I just ate a whole bag of these backstage. <laughs> Tender and soft, make your pecan tarts, make these tarts with pecans. And a frog hollow of the best growers of peaches and apricots and plumcots and, and all kinds of things. Yeah. And pears Amazing. Uh, from frog hollow. Really nice, thank you everybody for giving um, that to our audience. These are really cute little pies. Uh, they're blackberries. Sarah blackberries. loves to make pies as do. much as I do. It's probably my favorite thing. Oh, so here's here's a round yeah. for you. Um, Martha has a what we call a tender pie crust, which is basically like a pat sucre. So it's got a little bit of egg yolk in it and some sugar. It and it's rolls like our basic out real pat well. rosé. I'm mixing together five cups of blackberries, one and a half pounds, three quarters of a cup of sugar, and two tablespoons of cornstarch. Okay. Super duper. Because bl blackberries are very very. Um, oh. Whoops. Very, very juicy. Yes, yeah, very juicy, and they have a tendency to be a little bit tart. So it depends, you know, taste your berries because they can be really sweet or kind of not that sweet. And this so, fits so well right into it. Right. If you can find a ring cutter that is exactly the right size to fill your tart shell, yeah, we need one more. That's re that is really nice, but if you can't, you can always use a bowl or do it freehand because you're going to trim them anyway. Yeah, but these are so pretty. So three quarters of a cup of the mixture goes right in the center. Okay. It's like more like a cup, but so you want to mound it just slightly in the center. It makes it easier to um, top them off. And then a teaspoon of butter for each cut into tiny little a perfect teaspoon? cubes. That's a lot. Well, you could do less, but you know, I like the richness. I'm not saying it's too much. I just said it's a lot. <laughs> It's never too much butter. <laughs> I know. I agree with you. I hate to say it, but, but spread, really... it, spread it out a little exactly. bit. Exactly. So yeah. it adds, you know, richness. It helps thicken. And then take your second round of dough and put it on top, and then just press the edges together. Oh, if you're having a hard time pressing the edges together, you can use a tiny bit of egg wash if necessary. But um, these are removable tart, removable bottom tart pants. And um, you'll see later we, we remove the bottoms and they're just so cute. So these mm. just need to chill for at least 30 minutes, 15 to 30 minutes. It depends. You can put it in the freezer, put it in the fridge. Once they're chilled. Don't forget them. Don't forget them. Well, you know, don't forget them. It's not the worst thing in the world, but might take a little bit longer to cook if they're too, too okay. cold. Okay. I think these look very, very neat. Okay. So then an egg wash. With a little um, bit of heavy cream. Yep. They're going to bake. Once you put the egg wash on and sprinkle them with sugar, you have to cut some vents. And then they bake for at 425 for about 30 minutes. And then you reduce the temperature to 375 for 30 more minutes. So they bake for a full hour, which um, people might be surprised to see. So you can sprinkle with sugar or standing sugar. Make sure you put vents in. The secret so of, of really good <clears throat> uh, fruit pies is that before you take them out of the oven, the center of that little pie or Needs tart to has to be bubbling. Yeah. It has to be. Otherwise, you're going to have a real watery pie. Exactly. So once you do that, you sprinkle them with sugar. Make sure you vent them because that also helps with um, evaporation and they won't be watery and the juices will thicken. And after they're baked, they look like this. They're really, really cute. Mm. You remove them from the tart pans once they're completely cool and you can see that they're completely transportable. So pretty. Oh, I'm trying to finish mine. I know, but ah, they're so beautiful. And that egg wash really helps get that nice crust, golden that crust. color. Well, how about a dollop? How about a dollop? And um, over here, Martha, we have some stuff. Oh yeah. Oh, this is so nice. Um, we have so many friends across the United States who have uh, supplied us with incredible ingredients, and they want to give our audience a taste of both the Southwest and the West. We have uh, this amazing chili powder from Bueno. This is really delicious. We have uh, Freddy's, uh, Freddy Guy's hazelnuts from Farm District in Oregon. Oh, the best. Oh, I love this. This is red uh, mill cornmeal 
that you are going to love in everything Bob's Red Mill. And we have um, Milliken Pecan Company. I just ate a whole bag of these backstage. <laughs> Tender and soft. Make your pecan tarts. Make these tarts with pecans. And a frog hollow of oh, the best growers of peaches and apricots and plumcots and, and all pears, kinds of things. Yeah. And pears Amazing. Uh, from frog hollow. Really nice. Thank you, everybody, for uh, giving that to our audience.